This is Alyssiana, also known as Sayla, from the Mystic Worlds Gaming Blog. Welcome to Episode 4 of Casual Citizen. Our topic this week is the Ark Star Map. I hope you enjoy. Begin Transmission In October 2015, Cloud Imperium Games released an interactive web-based map of the known Star Citizen universe called the Ark Star Map. Compared to any other map I've seen for an MMO, it's the game map to end all game maps. Its interactive features are light years above anything I've witnessed before ever, let alone released in a browser. The information represented in the web version will eventually be accessible in-game using your Moby Glass and become part of the Star Citizen Galactopedia. Arc, we're told, is a knowledge center constructed in the Teyak system at the dawn of the 29th century. Not bound to a particular system or species, Ark is a central and neutral repository of all galactic knowledge. If you use the star map to visit the Teyak system and explore its objects, you will actually see the Ark space station on the map. Let's hear a little bit about the star map from the horse's mouth. Begin quote. Explore strange new worlds. The star map is a public resource that aims to provide a complete user-friendly overview of the galaxy, showing that we are just a small part of something much larger, and at the same time that even a distant world can be only a few jumps away. And as the universe is not a static place, neither is the star map. Our knowledge continues to grow, and the star map will grow with it. Compiled by the ARC, with the latest data from the Imperial Cartography Center, private info banks, individual surveyors, and the University Astronomical Studies, the star map attempts to provide an unbiased look at the galaxy. Though some of the information has come from ARC's other member species, it's been limited in scope due to Xi'an diplomatic complications and the difficulties inherent with Banu record keeping. End quote. I've read through all of the galactic guides and fiction dispatches published by CIG. The star map was the first time I was able to see the universe I'd been reading about in snatches laid out before me. The first time we could see where the individual star systems were, what they contained, and neighboring systems. It provided relationships and physical context, an important element in preparing to take up a role within this evolving story. Sometimes knowing is half the battle. The star map provides a wealth of information about each system, down to the details of the planets and the celestial bodies it contains. When planning an excursion, you'd certainly want to be able to distinguish between safe zones and hazardous ones, Equally as important, the map identifies systems we know nothing about or whose information is being obscured by the military. Are you brave enough to risk venturing into those systems? If so, what will you find there? Friends or foes? Riches or ruin? Some of the major features of the star map include the ability to review the known star system universe, its systems, celestial bodies, points of interest and jump points, go to any known system and view its composition, obtain high-level information about all of the celestial bodies displayed, view all jump points within a system, including the ship size restrictions, plan travel routes via jump points, make bookmarks, even flag specific systems as a void. Identify resources available within a system, such as asteroid fields and gas planets. View sensor heat maps of population density, economy, and threat. Discover known but not publicized locations. Players fairly quickly discovered that there's a black hole within the star system universe. Identify UEE versus unclaimed versus hostile territories. This episode is not intended as a guide, it's to raise your awareness and encourage you to explore the map for yourself. 
I found navigating around the star map entertaining and informative. You can see and travel to systems you've read about. It was cool to investigate concrete physical facts alongside information that I've gleaned from dispatches and fiction. Not everything about the Star Citizen universe is being revealed on the map. A good bit is being left for us to discover on our own when the game is released. At that point, it will be up to the intrepid explorers to decide if they want to share that information with the ARC Society or keep it for themselves. Surveying the star map should get your brain churning about the impacts to player careers as well. Are you looking for combat? You should consider zones where the threat map is most dense. Likewise, if you're planning to do search and rescue, you'd want those same zones since high population and conflict increases the odds of medical services being needed. Are you and your friends forming a mining collective? Excellent! The star map shows asteroid fields and often mentions the quality of the resources they contain. Planning to grow food in your endeavor? I know that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to. Well, I'm going to be looking for systems that lack green zones on planets but have high populations. These are going to be good candidates for needing additional food sources that I'll cultivate on my endeavor or as a trader or cargo hauler, you can provide supplemental food supplies through fulfillment orders. If you're going to be an info agent, you can decide if and to whom you want to sell those coordinates of a new jump point or planet that you discovered. If you sell it to a UEE agent, we'll see it on the star map. Anxiously awaiting the arrival of your starfarer to take up your role of refueling ships in space? Well, you're going to need to know which systems contain gas planets that you can siphon resources from to process into fuel. The star map is so much more than just a map. It enhances the context of the lore we've been provided and gives us clues as to locations we want to invest time and energy in when progressing our careers. It assists in logistics and decisions related to player professions. It lets you begin to evaluate how the ships you think you want or have impact your ability to travel based on jump point ship size restrictions. Lots of food for thought, lots of fun things to consider. In conclusion, let me reiterate, the star map is something you need to see for yourself. And in the coming weeks, we'll take a closer look into the pivotal systems we're likely to encounter in the early days of the persistent universe or are of significant importance. Nix, Vega, Terra, Cathcart, to name a few. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and continue tuning in for more. Stay well and fly safe. End transmission.